Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Osetale. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft a bustier with a yoke. If that sounds like something you are interested in, please keep on watching and let's get started. <laughs> So guys, for this tutorial, I'm going to be drafting the front piece first and to do that, I'm going to make use of this pattern paper. My pattern paper is on fold as you can see, okay? Then I'm going to be using this end here as my starting line. I'm just going to go ahead now to really line here which is going to be the starting line. After you're done doing that, you go ahead and take your shoulder measurement divided by 2. I'm making use of shoulder measurement of 15 and half inches divided by 2. I have 7.75. I mark it and add extra half inch for the sewing allowance. Then on that line, you're going to come down by 0.75 inch for the shoulder slope. Then you come here and mark 3 and half inch for the neck width. Now you're just going to go ahead to connect this like this. After you're done doing that, you're going to come here and measure down 8 inches for the armhole depth. So just measure 8 inches, measure what you have here and measure exactly the same thing on these dots. Then you're going to go ahead and connect the dots. So guys, after you are done doing that, now the next step is you are going to go ahead and take all the horizontal measurements. So just place your tape on the starting line and measure down to the bust point. Then you take it all the way to the under bust, which is 14.5. Then you take the half length, which is 17.5. Add extra 1 inch for this sewing allowance. Then go ahead and connect this. So guys, after doing that, now you are going to go ahead and label the chest line, the bust point, the under bust and the waistline so after doing this now you come to this line that you have here and divide what you have into two i have eight divided by two i have four then you go in by 0.75 inch on this line you take your bust measurement divided by four minus 10 inches then you're going to go ahead and create your armhole using the french curve so guys this is what you're going to have after you're done having this now the next step is to get the chest line which is where our yoke is going to reach so in my case it is six inches so just mark six inches and roll it like that now guys the next step is to come to the bust point here we're going to take our nipple to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch then you'll go to the waistline and take the same thing then you're going to go ahead and connect the dots so guys, after doing this, now you're going to come to this chest line. What I have here, I'm going to take it on this new chest line that I have. I'll be adding extra one inch to it. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and connect it. Just like this. So guys, after you're done doing this, now the next step is you're going to come to the under bust here. You're going to be going out by 1.5 inch. Go to the waistline and go out by 1.5 then come here and come in by half inch go to the waistline and come in by half inch guys i went out with 1.5 because i'm using bust measurement of 14 inches if yours is up to 42 44 go out by 2 inches now you're going to come here and come down by 1.5 inch then with the help of the french curve now you're just going to go ahead and connect this to meet the 1.5 inch that you came down by after you're done doing that, then you use your straight ruler to connect this other one to meet it. So guys, this is what you're going to have. After you're done doing it like this, you will come to this new chest line. You're going to be coming in by 1 inch. Go in by 1 inch, then you go out by 0.75 inch. Then you're going to connect it to meet the boss point. So guys this is what you're going to have now after you're done doing this you go ahead and take all the round body measurement so you are going to come to this chest line here this is our initial bust measurement divided by four i'm going to measure this small 
that I'm going to be cutting out, you add it, then you add extra two inches for the sewing allowance. Then you come to the waistline and take your waist measurement divided by four. You measure this that you're going to be cutting out, it's two inches, you add it, add extra two inches for the sewing allowance. Then you're going to go ahead and connect it. After doing that, you're going to go ahead and measure the neck. So I'm making use of width of three and a half inch. Then I will come down by three inches. Just come down by three inches. First of all, I'm going to just pull a straight line to connect it just like this. Then after you're done doing this, on this point here, you will go up by 1.5 inch. Then you're going to follow that to create the round neckline so just do something like this then you have a perfect round neckline after you're done doing this then you're going to come on this chest line and go down by one and a half inch for the bustier neck okay then you're going to connect it to meet it just like that so guys this is what you're going to have okay now that you're done doing this, the next thing is I'm going to go ahead to cut this out. So guys, this is what you're going to have after cutting, okay? So this is the center front, you can see. Then these are the side fronts. Just place them like this. And this is the yoke. This is the yoke, guys. You can see how it came out. So this is it for the front piece, okay? I'm going to go ahead now to place these front pieces aside. Then we'll go ahead to cut the back. Guys, for the back, I already draft the basic bodies. Okay, I have the shoulder line, the armhole, the bust points, the waistline, and also the zipper allowance. Now, the first thing I'm going to be doing here is to come to the bust point and take my nipple to nipple measurements divided by two plus half inch. Then take the same thing on the waistline and connect it. Now, after doing that, you're going to go ahead and take half inch on both sides, just like that. Then you come down here by one inch. Then you're going to go ahead and connect the that so just do something like this after you're done doing that now the next thing is you're going to go ahead to draw the neck so the neck width is three and a half inches then i'll be coming down by one and a half inch then i'll just use this curve rule to make a curve there then you also extend it to meet the zipper allowance just like that. Now after doing this guys, you're going to go ahead and reduce the waistline by half inch and connect it. So this is to el eliminate anything called zip bulge. Then because we have reduced this waistline by half inch, you also reduce the zipper allowance by half inch and connect it as well. Then you're going to also connect it just like this so guys after you're done doing this now the next step is to take all the body measurement that was our initial bust measurement divided by four i just added two inches for the sewing allowance then on the waistline make sure you take your measurement from this new line waist measurement divided by four measure your dart and add it to it then add extra two inches for the sewing allowance then connect So guys, this is what you're going to have after connecting. Just blend out this ample area. Now you're going to go ahead to cut this out. So guys, this is what you're going to have after cutting it out. You can see, I'll just label it the back. So this is it for the back and i'm going to go ahead now to bring the front pieces so this is it this is the front pieces this is the center front and these are the size front and also this is the yoke so guys this is it thank you so much for watching